Fresh and Fit launched their own version of Andrew Tate's Hustlers University because they need money. Castle Club Premium will get you access to a Discord group where Myron and Walter will teach you stock trading, crypto, dating, and social media. All for 100 a month. Double the price tag of Hustlers University. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the video entitled Fresh and Fit Finally Hit Rock Bottom. Okay, let's begin. YouTube is a great platform with a lot of entertainment or educational value. Some people combine the two and we call it edutainment. It's sometimes a replacement or basically a supplement for television or Netflix or whatever you wanna do in your downtime. And the one good thing about YouTube is that individual creators can provide you education or you know entertainment or both. And because that's a person that that you kind of vibe with or you feel that you're connected to, you can trust that person. And not every content creator is trustworthy, right? That's the issue. Some content creators would love to, you know, have you support them based on their content. And then some guys are just trying to take advantage of their audience. Yeah, and that's why I make tons of videos calling out all the pieces of shit in the industry. Okay, there's a lot of predatory figures that are trying to act like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, meaning they act friendly to you, they act like they're on your side, that they wanna help you, but in reality, they're just keeping you stuck. Okay, they're putting you on a hamster wheel like Real Social Dynamics was doing with 70 different products, and they're just there to waste your time and take your money. Because they are what we call scammers. This, unfortunately, is a problem in the content creating community with guys using their notoriety or their fame to basically scam their audience. Now, it's interesting. I did a show with a great YouTuber about this called Pocket Watching with JT, and this happened about about a year ago. Now the topic of the video dealt with Pan-African scamming on my other King Ghana channel, but we actually talked about YouTubers who do the same thing, just in general. And he had this to say. So you're talking about people who have created an organic following. Yes. And the thing about that is when you create an organic following, you don't come from another industry. You weren't a D-list actor or an old athlete. And the second you get on the platform, you already have 100,000 subscribers because you're bringing that over. No, you've got someone who started on that platform from nothing and they grew an audience, right? Organically. The issue with that is they actually have a stronger relationship with their followers, with their subscribers, than ultra famous people, because they feel as if they were on the journey with you. They saw you from nothing, and now you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers or millions of subscribers. The issue with that is people mm -hmm. are unaware. You don't get paid just because you got subscribers, right? Yes. <laughs> you can have hundreds and thousands of subscribers and you can still not make a lot of money. So these influencers and content creators, they're stuck in a position of how do I monetize my social media platform? And the problem here is guys, that since there's so many fake gurus, okay, and people pretending to be experts in the manosphere, when they go to sell a course or they go to have some kind of subscription service or whatever, it almost always is a scam because they have no real expertise in the field. Okay, I make video after video after video, breaking down people's infield, showing how their technical advice is wrong over and over and over, but these people still sell stuff because they wanna make money, but by in doing so, they're just scamming people and robbing them blind. Okay, and I try to point that out all over the place to show this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. This guy has an ugly girlfriend. This guy has no proof that he's ever gotten a hot girl or any girls for that matter. Okay, this guy has no testimonials and so on and so forth. So talk is cheap. Okay, anyone can say that they're really good with girls. Anyone can say that they can get you really good with girls. But who has all the proof? I'm sitting on 1,500 testimonials. We have story after story after story. There's new ones that go up every single day on our proof page at johnanthonylifestyle.com forward slash proof. And I back up all my opinions in the game. It's all heavily data tested from 20 years of optimizing the best system in the game. And that's why we have the best results in the industry. 
Right now we have a deal where you can combine our industry leading eight week program, which is a virtual mentorship over two months with a three day live bootcamp experience where a coach can give you feedback in real time during interactions and in between interactions. And so you can get extremely good with talking to girls in person because you have the coach there guiding you. And then you can master the whole rest of the system through four calls a week over the course of eight weeks. To find out more details about that special promotion, you can go to the link in the description or click the info card in the corner. How do I actually make money? And the way that they can make money is by selling inferior products or services to their audience. Sometimes they're unaware, right? Because a lot of people, just because you have a big platform doesn't mean you're a good businessman or businesswoman. You right. know how to entertain people. And if someone else comes in and say, hey, uh, sell this and you'll make a lot of money, they do it without knowing how to do the proper due diligence. So that's me being graceful. But wait, he's actually going to bring out this particular point, which is going to be so true. Now let's look at the other side of the coin. The people who just, they don't care. They have an audience and they have bills to pay. However, they can get money from the pockets of their audience into their money, I mean, into their bank account, they do not care. They will sell you bad products. They will sell you bad services, or they will just literally say they're going to do something, raise a bunch of money and just not do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> you see, some people, they just don't care. And he made a great point that a lot of YouTubers like myself are fresh and fit are guys who started from zero. Well, what happens is that you guys trust us a lot more. So you're willing to basically invest because you have an attachment to us. The problem is, is that you get a lot of issues with content creators selling stupid courses or stupid products or services that they didn't come in the game selling at all. Let's say, for example, if you're a dating coach, um, well, maybe if you want to give consultations on dating, which is still usually a scam for most of the guys, or if you have a course about, you know, picking up women, which probably still is some level of a scam for most. And the reason why it's a scam for most of these people is because they haven't accomplished hardly anything in the dating game themselves, and they're not getting guys routinely very good at this, okay, as a coach. That's why I go in, because I have a, a unique position here where I've seen and done it all in the game many times. At the time of this recording, I've slept with 1,865 different girls. I have over 22,000 phone numbers in my phone. We can put up my lay count progression graph, okay, that, that's almost completely up to date. And I have a, a unique position because I know exactly what to do, exactly what to say, exactly how the structure of the whole game works. So when someone comes on YouTube and they're trying to describe the game or they're trying to describe strategy or they're trying to give advice, I can immediately call them out as being full of shit because I can see that the advice is nonsensical in most of the cases. Okay, but their audience doesn't know that. That's the big problem is that since people don't understand how optimized dating works, okay, or how you can get very, very good with girls very quickly, regardless of your background or your current situation, since nobody understands that, or most people don't, then that creator can just act authoritatively, speak with conviction, and convince his cult following that he knows what he's talking about. Right? And then when people go and try that advice and it doesn't work, then that influencer can tell them, oh, it's just because you didn't spend enough time trying or you have to try more, you have to buy more courses, et cetera, et cetera. But ask yourself this question, if Real Social Dynamics, RSD, if any of their courses worked, why would they need more than 70? If any one of those particular courses was able to solve the problem and get the client girls, they wouldn't need 70 more. Okay, So you can see just by the structure of their business model, their intent is to keep selling to you for life Okay, and having you on a hamster wheel and dangling a carrot in front of you. And they're never actually fixing the problem. Okay, And that's very predatory and it's very fucked up because people are wasting time, money, and effort trusting that company and then getting fucked over. Okay, And then what happens to a lot of those people that get fucked over is then they go to the black pill and they say, okay, this isn't going to work because I don't look like a Chad. I don't look like a model. Or then they go to the red pill and they say, oh, well, I'm not getting laid and it's all women's fault and fuck them. And they're all trying to get, you know, better guys and they're all trying to fuck us over and this and that. So then the guy becomes a misogynist and becomes confrontational or resentful or hateful towards women. And the big problem is that guys like Fresh and Fit shouldn't be giving any advice. 
on dating. And most of the creators in the manosphere should never be giving advice on dating because they're not real experts. They don't have proof of their own results. They don't have proof of their clients' results, et cetera, et cetera. Again, we're sitting on over 1,500 testimonials. Our clients get extremely good, extremely quickly, extremely consistently. Okay, It's very rare that I can't get a guy very good very fast. And we solve the problem permanently so that after someone goes through my programs, they don't need help from anyone ever again, not even myself. So to find out more about our current promotion that combines the eight-week program with a boot camp to save thousands of dollars, check out the link in the description or in the info card in the corner. Those guys, you shouldn't come in as a dating coach and now you're giving advice on cryptocurrency. Yes. And this is another big move they always do. Okay. They start off as a dating coach, then they become a business coach. They become some kind of lifestyle coach. They become a crypto coach. Okay. And that's what Fresh and Fit are doing. So you want to stick around to the end of this video because they're going to show how they're now giving stock and crypto advice bundled with dating advice. If you notice, a lot of the guys in the manosphere have done that, but there is another guy who is now doing it also. Can I get a dun 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 sound effect? Fresh and fit. Now, let's kind of start back from the beginning. Fresh and fit got demonetized on YouTube. Mm. And the reason they got demonetized is they were mocking black people, okay, imitating monkeys. They were doing Hell Hitler. They were wearing Ku Klux Klan hats. Okay, it's all against the terms of service of YouTube. And their explanation was the Matrix attacked them and the powers that be don't want you guys to know stuff that they know. Okay, which is just a way to avoid personal accountability. Then they got kicked off of Facebook and Instagram. Before that, they actually got banned from TikTok. Then now recently, Myron was demonetized from X, formerly Twitter. And they got banned off of Twitch as well. Now guys are even stressed out more. They are now trying to monetize their audience any way possible to stay afloat. Yeah, and they've came on camera and said, guys, we have staff to pay, we have bills to pay, et cetera, et cetera. We need you guys to support us. Okay, but before that, they were always saying, oh, we're fine. We don't need anything from you guys. Now they've gotten super desperate. Okay, so they're throwing these little yacht parties with high price tags. But as you're gonna see here in the rest of this video, now they're selling something where they bundle crypto advice, stock advice, and dating advice into a monthly subscription. And it's all bullshit. These guys are not crypto experts. They're not stock experts. They're not dating experts. They're two little losers pretending on camera. And the only reason most people are watching their show is because they were just openly disrespecting ghetto hood rat pieces of shit, okay, that they would invite on and then express, you know, they'd have the express intent of kicking them off and that was just jerry springer style entertainment okay but there was never anything to learn from these guys now they're trying to leverage this fake expertise to show you oh you can actually learn stuff from us now this has happened because myron is now trying to sell a new course which is worth like $100. And well, the course doesn't really correspond to anything that they have pushed in. Look at this here. Fresh and Fit launched their own version of Andrew Tate's Hustlers University because they need money. Castle Club Premium will get you access to a Discord group where Myron and Walter will teach you stock trading. <laughs> Crypto, dating, and social media. All for 100 a month. Double the price tag of Hustlers University. And there's that little fucking dork red beard rants here down in the little square who was chased out of Colombia by the police okay, for alleged sex trafficking and involvement with minors. Okay, a huge piece of shit who's now partnered up with Fresh and Fit. But look at that. You think Walter, who can barely form a sentence and is going for speech coaching, okay, who was a former tech support representative at Wix.com, the website builder, you think he's suddenly going to enlighten you about stock and crypto trading? Get the fuck out of here, right? And these guys don't know shit about dating or social media either. They're just two losers on camera that try to pretend to be cool. The past. And it's better for me to let them tell you. And the biggest thing that we're going to do now, guys, we're going to add to you guys stock trading. We're going to add as well dating and as well crypto all in Capital Premium, all in one shop. Just a big scam net. Oh, I, I heard I can make money in stock and crypto trading. Let me go learn from Walter and Myron. Um, and it's a subscription based uh, monthly, guys. So uh, you won't have to pay some ridiculous amount of money to $300, $400, $500. No, we're going to give you guys continuous coaching per month. Um, and it's only going to be 65 bucks. Boom. And you get access to all that stuff, and it's gonna be a monthly subscription. He goes, You don't have to pay two, three, four hundred dollars. And they're saying the price is 65 a month. 
okay? But let's do the math. After 10 months, okay, that's $650, right? That's where they're gonna be starting to make all the money is from all this recurring revenue. 65 bucks, um, and you're paying for Cast Club, so we're talking about $100 a month altogether, um, and you're gonna have access. Oh, it's 100 a month altogether, okay? So every 10 guys that are paying this are gonna generate them $1,000 a month. These Zoom calls, subscription-based, so it's way more affordable. You can cancel anytime yep. and uh, get the value that you need because here's the thing, all the groups are gonna move over to Discord, Discord guys, because uh, on Discord, it's just a way better user phrase. If you want to get hands-on, Zoom calls on crypto. It had little, <laughs> little tagline at the bottom. Get stock and crypto advice from experts. Yeah. Stock trading and getting and uh, this Instagram uh, mentorship, which is going to be live training with you guys holding your hands through this, etc. Step two times a month. It'll be maybe the first week will be crypto. Second week will be Instagram and dating. Then next week will be stocks. Then the last week after that will be Instagram and dating again and using dating apps, etc. Hundred bucks a month covers everything. You get your Casco membership, sixty five to get access to the, to the dating stuff, the crypto, and everything else like that. It's individualized coaching with the guys in there. Hundred bucks a month. It's not that expensive for that man. And also you're gonna learn stock. Keep in mind, these guys are not experts in anything. Okay, Myron was a fake fitness expert. Then he became a fake dating expert. Okay, now they're fake stock and crypto experts enlisting this Redbeard Rants retard here at the bottom, Casey Brown, who, again, was chased out of Columbia by the police for sex trafficking and involvement with minors. And crypto. And you still keep access to Cast Club, by the way. It's 35 for Cast Club, 65 for this add-on. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. And with the right stock picks, it pays for itself, honestly, 10 times over. Now, that's actually just one part of it, okay? But not only are they having problems inside of the Castle Club. Now, Castle Club is where they sell these memberships to try to bring in revenue for the business since they're demonetized everywhere but Rumble. But this is what you need to pretty much understand here. They're also having problems within the Castle Club group themselves from their own members. And keep in mind, the Castle Club is a play off of Frank Castle from The Punisher. That's why they have the Punisher logo. I actually wore my Punisher shirt here for this video, coincidentally. But <laughs> they're trying to act like Myron is Frank Castle, the Punisher, because he kicks off ghetto hood rat piece of shit. Okay, it's all very quite laughable. You know, they have these guys they call generals, and I guess they're probably their. They're copying the war room and fucking Hustlers University. They're calling guys generals inside of Castle Club. Possible for teaching some of the course material, maybe very similar to what happens with Andrew Tate and his little scam cult group too. But check this out. There's gonna be some changes to Castle Club, guys. Um, some big changes. Uh, you know, basically, uh, we had to remove some of the generals. Okay, remove four generals. I'm not in a good mood, man. I'm not happy at all. Um, you know, basically, for all the Castle Club guys, gonna put it out for you guys. But we had to remove four generals. Um, <laughs> Look how stupid this is, Myron. We had to remove four generals, guys. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go into too much details, but you know, insubordination and mis and uh, betraying trust. And uh, you know, we have to we have to do some cleaning and re restructure some things. So, um, <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna put out a full announcement on Castle Club, who the generals are and uh, uh, and how they're, you know, they're no longer part of the community and honestly, like they have nothing to do with us anymore and they're not in a position to tell you guys anything. And honestly, if they try to bring you into one of their things, you just decline um, because uh, we, we know we got to the bottom of some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put out a formal announcement on this on Castle Club only. There's a mutiny inside of Castle Club and four of the generals have gone off the beaten path and are trying to recruit. <laughs> you know how stupid this is? Imagine you're in this dumb fucking Castle Club and you're trying to get stock and crypto advice from Myron and Fresh and let them guide your dating life and your social media. It's like a recipe for disaster. Okay, I'm sure their retention rate isn't very strong. They trick some people to sign up for this. What the fuck are they going to, what value are people going to get from this? None is the answer. That's why, even though I have a lot less followers, I can proudly say that we have the industry leading program with my company. Okay, we have over 1,500 testimonials on a page. You can check out our proof page with the link in the description or go to johnanthonylifestyle.com forward slash proof. You can see story after story after story. We just had another guy graduate the eight week program. He slept with eight girls in eight weeks, smashed his record of how many girls he'd slept with in a year. And he's slept with a girl over a nine now. He's had a threesome. He's built up a rotation. And the game has become very easy for him just because he's plugged into the optimized system and he knows exactly what to do. Now he doesn't need any more coaching again, not from me, not from anybody else. And again, we have that promotion right now where you can combine the eight-week program with a three-day live training. All you have to do is go click the link in the description to find out more details. Because at the end of the day, like you guys were just watching that on a part of Castle Club, it's fine. You guys don't have to be involved in that. But put it this way. It's handled. We got a new structure. We're going to be going to Discord. It's going to be a lot better user experience. We're going to still have the city groups available to you guys. It's just that we're starting off with regions that work in a way out. All right. Now they're doing Discord servers. That's what they do inside of Hustlers University. Okay, you pay to get access to a bunch of shitty Discord servers with recycled info that you could find for free online. <laughs> But uh, I'll put you guys on notice which four generals are done and removed and no longer have anything to do with Castle Club and or Fresh and Fit at all. So 
Yeah. Now, I, I want to discuss this because this is important to me. First of all, these guys have distressed their entire financial system that, number one, they're demonetized off of everything. OK, these guys make content about the black community. They make content about the Jews. They make content about whoever else, gays, Democrats and everything they get to a situation where they demonetize off of every platform, even a platform like X, which literally lets you get away with saying damn near anything you want. So within their own community on Castle Club, they are still having problems with people in their own community, which cannot be blamed on the blacks, on the Jews, on anyone else. On X, Myron is also being demonetized. He cannot blame any of those people for that. What am I trying to really say here? <laughs> He's broke! And guess who's getting rich off of his content? Me! Thank you, Myra, and give yourself a round of applause. Music, Myron. I'm, I'm just so glad Myron is that actually dumb so that I can keep taking advantage of him. And like my mom used to say, when it rains, it pours. Literally, this guy has found a way to destroy all of his opportunities <laughs> by running his mouth. This is a guy who says he doesn't drink alcohol. He doesn't use drugs. If this is him sober, like <laughs> imagine what he must be like if he's high. And I just want to talk to guys um, about, you know, your opportunities in life and things that you want to do. If you really want to ruin yourself in your opportunities when you get them, because, you know, nothing is promised in this life, guys. Um, you know, life is tough, especially for men. And when you're in a situation where you can basically write your own ticket and you can do things in a way that will allow you to get to the next level, you should be very appreciative of that and not mess up the opportunities for yourself because you continue to be dumb. On yeah, and Myron wanted me to be his business partner back some years ago. He was like, I could be the fitness aspect, you could be the dating aspect. And we've shown this email countless times, but we'll pop it up again. He reached out to me and asked me for dating help, for dating coaching. Okay, he said that he's banging girls between a four and an eight, which is disgusting that he would bang girls that are fours, but what do you expect? There's him admitting it. And he said his circle has no clue what they're doing, okay, which is all his little red pill loser friends. And I told him to fuck off. Okay, not only did I not want to partner with him in business, but I didn't want to coach him either because he was acting extremely weird and awkward and you know, just quite annoying, to be honest. Okay, and I had to block him. And even knowing how popular they got, I still never would have partnered with him in a million years because he's a piece of shit. Okay, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just faking on the camera. The only reason he became a fake fitness expert is because he went through Brandon Carter's mentorship where it said, oh, you have to pick a niche and that you're going to be an expert on. And so he's like, oh, uh, fitness. All right, but his fitness advice is totally wrong. His dating advice is totally wrong. Now he's going to take a shot at giving stock and crypto advice. Okay, and they're basically trying to copy the Hustlers University structure here with a bunch of shitty Discord servers and a bunch of recycled generic advice. Okay, who knows? Maybe they're even recycling stuff from Hustlers University. But it's just very, very sad to watch. Okay, and I don't know who's getting suckered into these things. I guess just like they're super fans. But hopefully people wake up and realize that those guys are completely full of shit and not worth listening to. Fortunately, this is not what Fresh and Fit decides that they want to do. They want to still continue to be uh, stupid, which is which is fine. But just know that you can't just keep blaming everybody for why you are being demonetized. And then when you want to then use your audience to scam and sell them overpriced course material or sell them worthless content, you guys are not financial guys. You guys are not crypto guys. All the red pill guys are doing crypto as a scam. Yeah. This is the same thing that you see. Yeah, and that's an important point to note as well. All the red, red pill guys are doing crypto coaching as a scam. Okay, MLD was doing it, Donovan Sharp, Andrew Tate is pushing all these shit coins and altcoins. And he said he would never do that, by the way. He was on camera saying, oh, I'll never do that to my audience. There he is doing it. Rolo has made an NFT. Rolo Tomasi made the Red Pill Lions NFT. It's just all like pure highway robbery, like full out scamming. Okay, these guys are not financial experts, as the host of the video here says. You know the Donovan Sharp trying to do? And basically what you're showing your audience is, hey guys, we just really don't respect you. And um, we, you know, all of the monetization that we lost you guys need to pay for it and pay us money for things that we don't know while we take your money and go buy more OnlyFans models with it. Yeah, exactly. 
Fresh has already been caught paying escorts and OnlyFans chicks multiple times. And that's the guy that's making this video has it exactly right. They were retarded. They got demonetized. Now they're going to try to scam their loyal audience of what's left of it and their followers. Okay. And one last cash grab attempt copying Hustlers University and being fake financial experts. Or more cars to look fake rich because we actually don't know how to stay in the business because we're idiots. That's what you're pretty much telling them, okay? Which is fine. And this is how so many content creators destroy themselves. They have plenty of opportunities to do the right thing. And guess what? They <laughs> All right. So now we see that we have more red pill creators being fake financial experts. Hey, watch my video in the end screen that goes over Myron Melton down emotionally and breaking a coffee mug. Let me know what you think in the comments below or any questions you might have. What do you think of Myron and Fresh and this new move they're doing to scam their audience and copy Hustlers University? If you want to take advantage of the new promotion, combining the eight-week program with a live training, you can go find more details with the link in the description. Make sure you like the video to help support the algorithm and subscribe to never miss a video. Thank you guys and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My way. I learned how to roll a weed. I didn't roller skate. Nah. I go in the back, y'all look at the lake and I meditate. Yeah. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.